Freddie DeMarco here with Vox. I'm going to take you through a couple tips on the AC4, the AC15, and the AC30 amplifiers. One of the cool things you could do with the AC4 is get it to respond like the AC15 and AC30, what you would expect from an all tube amp. Well, this is an all tube amp, but even at four watts, there seems to be enough headroom where I can keep the volume up higher and get two tones from you know one setting on the amp. So I'm dialing in the gain, now it's about at about one o'clock, and I have this much gain in the sound. <laughs> The old school way of playing, and it's really got popular again here, is actually with pickup changing, lowering the volume, and a pick to lighter pick technique, I can actually clean up the tone. Get this, that chime top boost tone that Vox is known for. Another cool thing you can do with the AC4 is hook up an extension cabinet. Now I use this in the studio a lot where I'll do a stereo track, I'll mic one up with the, the Vox speaker inside of it and then I'll take some type of extension 412 cabinet and do the stereo track that way. So I'm getting the kind of the same circuitry from the amp but a bit different tone from the cabinet. Also the other cool thing is you can just dime this out to 10, turn it all the way up and use it live this way because it really expands more than what you'd think a 4 watt amp can do. So check out this tone I can get cranking the 4 watt through a 412 cab. <laughs> Here's a tip on the AC-15. You know, AC-15s and AC-30s are thought of as a real nice top boost chime uh, for the cleans and then a nice brown sound with a little bit of dirt in them, um, using a lot of pop music actually. Um, also a very aggressive crunch, but what they're often not used for, which I can dial in a really cool sound, is a real felt like dark tone. So the tone cut in the master section, if you crank that, it deletes treble frequencies, upper mid frequencies. And I'm using the top boost channel so I have access to the EQ. So I'm boosting the bass a bit, but also deleting treble. And I get a real felt like warm tone. Here's how you can dial in a really cool spaghetti western or surf like tone. With the AC15 the reverb is really dense so if you put the reverb up about halfway and then bring in the tremolo circuit where I bring in the depth about halfway and then hit the speed wherever you like it you get a really uh, cool spaghetti western tone. <laughs> Class A amplifier. Class A at 30 watts is extremely loud, this being a 212 really crunches. We're going to dial in a legendary classic rock crunch sound that's used in a lot of modern rock today as well. This is a legendary sound that's been heard on many albums. We're using the top boost channel and we're cranking that volume all the way up. I'm going to turn the treble a little less than 12 o'clock, padding it a little bit, and in the master section, I'm going to bring in the tone cut. By bringing in the tone cut, it kind of deletes some high-end treble, so between that channel treble and the tone cut, I'm cutting out any shrill tones that might come out at a real loud volume. The trick is, is cranking the master volume, so I'm getting the tube power section to really work, getting clean, powerful distortion. So uh, here's a, an example of that. It's going to be very percussive and a very warm uh, percussive crunch which Vox is also known for. <laughs> For 
this video, we're using the AC30 Custom, also the AC15 Custom, so it's the Custom Series. With this AC30, it's a four input amp. It's two channels. There's the normal channel that has the normal volume and goes right to the master section, which is the tone cut and the volume. Uh, it also passes through the reverb and tremolo circuits. The top boost channel has two inputs. So there's two inputs for the normal and two inputs for the top boost. However, the top boost is a bit different circuit and it also features a treble and bass EQ. By jumping the channels, I'm gonna plug into the bottom of the normal channel and then the jumper cable will go to the top input of the top boost channel. I'm plugging the guitar into the top input of the normal channel. So what happens now by jumping this, I have access to both channels. So I can bleed in a little of the normal channel and a little of the top boost channel for a bit different tone. So here's more normal channel and then I'll pull in the top boost channel as we go. Now more top boost. Now I could get less normal channel, less top boost and clean it up. Now if I bring more normal channel, I get this tone. For a more aggressive approach, less normal, more top boost, and I can dial in more treble, so I'm taking advantage of the EQ. So I'm getting some of the normal channel's tone, but the EQ from the top boost. 